Tom, not the result we wanted this afternoon. What do you think went out went wrong out there this afternoon? We didn't pass the ball anywhere near how I want us to pass the ball for the first, not everybody, but for, for the vast majority of the, the first hour of the game, to be honest. Um, and it's frustrating because we have a very clear way of wanting to play the game, um, but one or two, maybe, you know, I don't want to give excuses from the off, but maybe the game, the lads who played on Saturday and played again today, maybe their legs weren't as good as they thought they were, I don't know. Um, but ultimately, we, I just don't think we were physically strong enough. We didn't we didn't stand up to what the we, we were doing to us. Um, and that in any sport, if you don't stand up to your direct opponent and win your battle at least, you know, 50-50, then you're going to lose the, the contest. And we've had enough chances, you know, scored two goals away from one, should be taking something from the game. It was certainly a tough physical battle out there, wasn't it? They, they scored from the corner early on and then the long throws, well, they, they, they certainly caused problems, didn't they? Is, the, the conceding from set piece and, and, and having problems from set pieces, is that a bit of a concern? Or? Um, well, if it continues, it will be. We're only five games in, but but ultimately, you know, I remember last season defending Jordy um, because it's not the goalkeeper's fault all the time when the ball goes in the goal and he needs to be protected by the people in front of him. And, Listen, I'm not talking about a chain. There'll be a lot of lads getting on the bus now that'll be disappointed with, with their out, output today. And I haven't said that too often since I've been at the club. So some of them are new faces and they'll learn very quickly. Rich has let them, let them have it in the dressing room after the game about making yourself available to play football for this club. And a little bit too easy for one or two just to say, oh, I'm not quite right. Well, we, me and Richard played the game for 20 years and certainly in the last seven or eight years I don't think I was ever 100% fit there's always something wrong with you you know but that's a mentality um, maybe it's a generational mentality I don't know um, but we've got to dust ourselves down look the games come thick and fast um, and the Saturday's fixture is a tough fixture trust me um, but we're back at home at the EBB so we'll give them a day's rest and then we'll uh, we'll plan to, to try and beat didn't it there was a fair few changes in the starting lineup. Yeah. Was that a case of what you've just mentioned there in, in terms of players not being available? Um, well, I have to listen to the medical team and the, the sports lads, you know, they have to listen to the players. So, some of them took themselves out of the reckoning. So that wasn't me just making changes for the sake of making it. People who know me and watch the teams that I look after, I don't change the team very often and certainly not en masse, but when you have to, because of the way that the lads have reported how they're feeling after the Oldham game. Um, and we were together last night, you know, Everybody we we covered correctly, ate correctly, all of that. Um, it's one of them things. I put it down in the end of the day. Once we conceded three goals, we should have scored three goals. We missed two or three really, really good chances at the end of the game. Uh, and if they go in, we're sitting here saying, well, we didn't play particularly well, but we nicked a point. But we didn't. Looking at the positives instead, Jack Barham got a goal after making his first start. That's always good, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, <coughs> I thought him and Hadi linked. They were, they were one of the positives, to be honest with you. I thought they linked the play really well. Um, and I think they'll both score goals. You know, I'm, I'm confident that both both know what we want from them. So that's not really the, <coughs> the area or the, the fundamental that I'm worried about, to be honest with you. It's more, like I said, we've got to be able to stand up to, you know, I don't want us to be looked at as a, as a soft touch. You know, I, anybody who knew me or watched me play, that was the absolute opposite of what I was doing. So I want a little bit more dog in the fight in terms of, and I think these lads, I don't think they shy away from work, I don't think they shy away from anything, but they've got to understand that more is required to come to places like Tamworth and they, they put it on you, to be honest, so you've got to handle it. Can you give us any more clarification on the Tyler Frost situation? Obviously, it was yeah. from where I was sat, it looked maybe like an arm or wrist or something. Well, he dislocated the finger with pointing sideways on, but there wasn't anybody medically qualified, doctor-wise, I, I believe, to, to, to fix it. And you've got to have a certain degree of level of yeah. you know authenticity and there wasn't one here which I find quite strange at this level of the game but it's not that's something out of my hands what we've got to do we've got to go and pick him up from, from um, hospital now he hasn't been seen yet so we could be waiting around a while well anyway good chance haven't we got on, on Saturday to turn things around and, and go again at the EBB Stadium a great turnout from the away fans yeah. um, again today yeah. 387 I believe wow. the official number was um, so look yeah. get, get great it'll be great to have them back at the EBB won't it Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, listen, our, our, our fans have been brilliant with me all the way through me being here. Um, and, I, and I hope they do understand what, like I said, I don't think we played our best today, but we should have come away with something. The manner in which we've conceded the goals has, has hurt me because I just, 
I don't like losing physical battles. Um, and I thought there was too many lads who just didn't didn't quite stand up to it. But listen, if I was a manager playing against our team, I would hit that nail right on the head every week. So we've got to learn because it's not going to change. This is it's an unforgiven league. It's physically demanding. Um, and sometimes it can hurt, and we've got to, we've got to be able to ride that hurt and, and impart our will, whatever that is, on the opposition better than we have done today.